district. As founding co-chair of the Progressive Caucus, Mr. Brad Lander has fought successfully to reform discriminatory practices of the NYPD. What else did you do? Yeah, you did a lot of things. Winning living wage jobs, zoning regulations. Thank you. You stand with us. You stand with us. What do we want? Okay. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Okay. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Okay. When do we want it? Now. That's right. Uh, my name is New York City Council Member Brad Lander. I'm proud to be here with you tonight. Honestly, tonight, more important than any of those things is that I am married to the Chief of Staff of Planned Parenthood New York City. Give it up for Meg Barnett. And I'm also here with my, uh, my dad and my mom visiting from St. Louis who are out here tonight joining the pink out with us. So look, some things are surprising and some things are not surprising. It's not surprising that our president is assaulting women's rights because he told us during the campaign that he was proud of assaulting women. <laughs> It's not surprising that GOP members of Congress care more about tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires than they do about the health care of Americans because that's who put them in office. It's unfortunately not surprising that the health care, the lives of Americans are on the line and that GOP members of the Senate and Congress don't seem to care. Um, I think one thing that's important to remember, you know, we talk about 24 million Americans who will lose their health insurance under Trump care. Let's talk about what that translates into. That translates into tens of thousands of Americans who will die every year because GOP members of of Congress decided it was more important to give tax breaks to billionaires than to preserve health care for the American people. Yeah. It's sure not surprising that the members of the GOP in the Senate are hiding the bill. They know that the bill stinks and they don't want anybody to see it. They know that it's rotten to have 13 white men trying to write health care for the American people. They know that it's rotten to take health care away from 24 million Americans. They know that tens of thousands of Americans will die so that they can give tax breaks to millionaires and billionaires. So it is sure not surprising that they are hiding the bill. Um, it's not surprising that we have to be joined by handmaids. Uh, it's not surprising that the handmaid's tale is trending because unfortunately the folks who are running the White House and who are running Congress seem to prefer the handmaid's universe to a universe where women are empowered, where Planned Parenthood is strong, where we genuinely believe that uh, in the radical notion that women are people. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of that is surprising. But here are some things that are surprising. We live here in New York State, in a place where the feminist movement was born, in a place where suffrage was born, in a state that we think of as on the forefront of fighting for equality, of fighting for women's rights, of fighting for feminism, of fighting for health care. So it is surprising that our own state legislature will not protect women's rights. Is that right? It is surprising that with all that we hear out of Albany, on the last night of session when they said they did all the important things in the budget that we can't get the Reproductive Health Act passed. That is surprising and it's unconscionable. And it is surprising that the, contrace the Comprehensive Contraceptive Act, all that means is that you get to make decisions about your contraception and not your employer. That's not radical, and it sure should not be the case that we can't get that bill through the New York State Senate. And, you know, I think, unfortunately, we do need to uh, name some names here, because the reason we can't get that bill through the New York State Senate is that a set of people who were elected as Democrats are caucusing with Republicans. <laughs> 
let that bill come to the floor, they say, oh, surely we would vote for it if only it came to the floor. Except they are empowering the Republicans who will not bring the bill to the floor. And while it was wonderful not only to have our public advocate here, but also to have our lieutenant governor here, I think it's also important to say that the governor indicated that he thought the things that were important got done in the budget or got done in the legislative session. But I'll tell you one thing that I think is important is passing the Reproductive Health Act and passing the Comprehensive Contraception Act. It is not enough to stand and point fingers at Washington, D.C. and complain about Trump and complain about the GOP Senate and complain about Trump care and complain about hiding the bill, but not make sure that women's rights are protected in Albany, that employers don't make decisions about your health care, that you make decisions about your health care, that Roe v. Wade is codified in state law. Let's be clear, that could be done tonight. Those bills have passed the New York State Assembly. So all they're waiting for is for those folks who were elected as Democrats but now call themselves independent Democrats no. to make sure that no. bill comes to the floor tonight. Let's have the governor speak up tonight and make sure that what's important is passed before the session closes. And you know what? I'll even give them another day or two. I don't know about the rest of you, but when I looked at my calendar, today was Wednesday. Now, how many of you have work weeks that end on Wednesday? <laughs> The idea I heard that, oh no, we can't let this go on till Thursday or Friday or next week. So there's plenty of time tonight. There's plenty of time tomorrow. There's plenty of time Friday. In addition to our fight to make sure that Republicans in Congress and the President don't destroy American health care, let's make sure we pass the Reproductive Health Act. Let's make sure we pass the Comprehensive Contraception Act. That is what we need in New York State right now. Am I right? What do we want? Healthcare. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Healthcare. When do we want it? Now. Thank you very much.